Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Uh, we're at Great Carlson High School. We're doing our annual active shooter training. Um, you know, we do this every year, uh, except for the years of COVID. But we still did it um, at the police department, like roll call training. But we weren't able to come out here and do the hands-on as we are today. But uh, we do this uh, every year, uh, every year that I've been here. So uh, it's really good training because it helps the officers keep this type of training fresh in their minds. Um, and it helps the officers to, you know, with it being as hands-on and as live as we can make it, it gets them the opportunity to see as real as it could be. It's, you know, it's very important uh, for us to stay on top of the training. Uh, for the officers, you know, it's different than sitting in the classroom and reading it or looking at a PowerPoint. Uh, whenever you come out here and you have the, the rounds going off, the blanks, uh, in the long hallways, you know, you can hear the echoing. Uh, even with the earplugs and the, you know, the eye protection stuff we wear, it's still very loud. So uh, the officers know that the bad guy's in there somewhere, but they don't know. And when they hear that first gunshot, uh, as you all probably saw, you can still see the officers jump a little. Um, and as the scenarios go, we start with the basic scenario, uh, just to get the blood pumping a little bit. Uh, and then we work up, uh, you know, four or five scenarios later, it gets more complex with maybe just one bad guy to two bad guys with um, our role players that are here, uh, you know, running out saying that he went that way or he's up the hall. So we try to make it as realistic as possible. Appreciate the school system. They allow us into their schools because next week we'll be at a different school. Uh, years past, we're out at Scott County High School. So uh, we work closely with them. Um, you know, some of their staff are here in the building and they've heard the gunshots go off and you know it's good for them to hear it so now that they will know if they hear something like that and you know we want to encourage the students as well not only is it you know our job to keep you safe but you know if there's a student that hears something that doesn't seem right or if they see something don't be scared to tell you know a teacher or officer martin or officer white our school resource officers because it you know it takes all of us um, if you see something, say something. But, you know, as a student, you know, we hate to have to tell kids, but to stay vigilant, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, but we still want kids to be kids, to still be able to go to school and be safe and all that. But, you know, unfortunately it is still be, have, you know, open eyes and aware of your surroundings.